Hello fellow football connoisseurs and welcome back to the quick take. Lots of news to get in today but first I'm going to address why I've not been uploading these past few days. Yesterday I tried to record a video yesterday. I spent like an hour recording the same video like five times. My brain was just not working. I couldn't formulate sentences. I'm currently on a weight loss thingy magic. So uh, yeah that, that was not messing. That, that was not helping my brain at all. So I wasn't able to get a video done yesterday. And then the day before I went out with some mates and I was not very uh, hangover. Let's just say hangover. Uh, uh, but uh, moving on from that, we have some news regarding uh, potential summer transfers. We also have some news regarding Conor Gallagher, uh, Romelu Lukaku. We have some news there. A massive centre-back option has now been linked to Chelsea via court offside. I'll get into that in just a second. Of course, we have big, big updates regarding the striker situation, including the one and only, the channel favourite, Benjamin Sheshko. And we also have the news regarding um, Chaga Silva's announcement that he will be leaving at the end of the season. I'll get into that in just a minute. But first, we're going to start off with the Javi Simmons news. Of course, if you know my channel, you know Javi Simmons. I have broken down Javi Simmons in the past. I think he was in my video looking at perfect Mason Mount replacements. This was back when he was at, still at PSV when he was having a season of his life. He's still having a fantastic season over in uh, RB Leipzig. Of course, Chelsea have been at Leipzig scouting Sheshko for a number of years now. Um, so they would have seen Javi Simmons playing as well. And uh, his current deal at the moment is he, uh, I think, PSG signed the buyback clause for Xavi Simmons when they loaned him out to RB Leipzig for around 6 million euros. Um, and we have this from Ben Jacobs. Before I get into the report linking him to Chelsea, we have this from Ben Jacobs about 30 minutes ago. PSG are deciding whether to recall Xavi Simmons this summer or renew his loan at Leipzig. Real chance of the latter. Some short-term complexities to navigate with club finals, finalizing their plans. A sale to another club is seen as less Less likely, not unlikely, but less likely, and would require an exceptional offer. Now, Chelsea are, of course, known for sending exceptional offers at the moment. Of course, amortization has been changed, and there is now a price cap, and there is now, sorry, a spending cap uh, put onto Premier League teams. Um, uh, that was uh, announced today. Uh, the Premier League uh, voted that through. But again, it would take an exceptional price, in my opinion. He's valued around 80 million euros on transfer market, if I remember correctly. So a bid, 75 million pound, 80 million pounds altogether for over the five years amortization. That's what 17, 18 off the top of my head. Maths was in my strongest uh, tar uh, uh, subject. 18 million pounds uh, a year, something like that, something similar to that. I've actually come compared uh, Xavi Simmons this uh, from Xavi Simmons this season at uh, Leipzig to Cole Palmer. He's played 200 m more minutes than Cole Palmer. But as you can see from the graph here, they're very similar for key passes, assists, uh, expected goals plus assists, expected assists, sorry. Uh, Cole Palmer is, of course, Chelsea's top goal scorer. Uh, well, he's in the race for the Golden Boot this season, obviously leading the line with non-penalty goals, but they're still fairly close there. Again, non-penalty goals. Uh, Cole Palmer is in the 94, 95th percentile. Xavi Simmons, 90. Uh, 72nd, 73rd percentile. Dribbles though, Xavi Simmons is up there. Carries, uh, he's up there. And offensive actions, he is up there. Now, I when I saw this news, my brain immediately went, well, okay, Xavi Simmons off left, Carl Palmer off the right, and then through the middle, you could have Benjamin Sheshko coming in, uh, or Victor Osman, or Victor Gokedesh, uh, if we do bring in Ruben Abram in that 3-4-3. Imagine that for an attack. Carl Palmer on the right, Xavi Simmons on the left, uh, playing as 10s, working in the half space just behind uh, either an out and out number nine, like um, uh, uh, like like, uh, like Victor Osman, or someone who's more who can be more involved with link up play, um, like uh, Benjamin Sheshko or Victor Gokeda. So. Interesting future ahead. That is, of course, if we do uh, loot. Well, that is, of course, if Pochettino is sacked come the summer, uh, come his review. Of course, those of you who don't know, Xavi Simmons was actually at PSG and him and Pochettino didn't exactly get along. Um, communication just wasn't there. He obviously went on loan to PSV and uh, exploded as a player. And now, as I said, he's valued around 80 million euros. Uh, we have this. This is this is the this is the uh, news report that links him to Chelsea. Xavi Simmons to Chelsea is possible as con as contact made, but they are not alone with Arsenal. Also, big fans. Simmons, one of the big names to keep an eye on this summer. Again, the only way I can see this happening is one. Obviously, Chelsea put in a big bid, 75, 80 million pounds altogether minimum for PSG to even start considering that. Uh, Chelsea will not be getting Champions League football, so that's going to be difficult, but it would also mean that Poch would have to leave because I doubt he wants to go to a club without any uh, European football 
uh, and then work under a manager he's already got not great history with. Uh, Ruben Amram, I think he'd more than he'd be more than happy to work under Ruben Amram, great man manager, and uh, certainly shown that he is capable of winning league titles um, and other uh, and other trophies. So. Again, I think he preferred to work under a winner and then under someone who he has a previous uh, poor relationship with. Uh, it all comes down to will Chelsea prioritise a move for Javi Simmons over a move for a uh, player like Victor Osman because we have heard some rumblings that it is between Osman and Sheshko. It just comes down to how much money we have to work with. Now, Regarding money we have to work with, we have some player sales updates here. We have an update here regarding Romelu Lukaku from Ben Jacobs about an hour ago reported by CFC Pice. Uh, several Saudi Arabian clubs are keen on signing Romelu Lukaku this summer. Of course, Lukaku, I think, has a 36 around £40 million pro, uh, uh, release clause since he joined Roma. So we'd be getting a decent amount of money there. We obviously spent a lot on him. Uh, thanks, Marina, for that. Uh, but uh, we will be getting some money for Romelu Lukaku. And then we have an update regarding the sale or, or potential sale of Conor Gallagher. Now, of course, Conor Gallagher is a player who has, uh, who's been one of Chelsea's better players this season. Um, but he is obviously homegrown and he is an option for Chelsea to sell to make pure profit. He did score a great goal against Aston Villa, a goal that I missed. I was watching the first half. We were 2-0 down. Uh, I closed my eyes for a second. I, I opened my eyes and I saw Conor Gallagher giving a, uh, an interview uh, in an empty stadium. I thought, oh, that's weird. You don't usually see that at half time. I checked my phone. I realized I'd actually fell asleep and I missed the entire second half. Uh, so... Well done me, I managed to miss the second half of one of the most exciting second halves in uh, Chelsea's recent history. With a late comeback, thwarted by VAR, in my opinion, it was robbery, but that was the video I was trying to record the other day. Obviously, I wasn't able to record it, but in my opinion, it was a robbery. Chelsea should have won 3-2, but once again, slipping further and further away from European football with that, uh, with that result. Conor Gallagher has still not been offered a new contract. Chelsea have a £50 million price tag with Spurs and Newcastle following developments. £50 million, pretty fair. I think we could maybe push for 55 even 60 with add-ons. Maybe 55 plus £5 million if uh, Spurs win the Champions League or something or something like that. Or Spurs win the Europa League. Or a certain amount of goals or a certain amount of appearances. Something like that. But I think he'd, he could actually be 55 60 More around the Mason Mount price. Again, Mason Mount, he had played at, Ch at Chelsea for a lot longer. He obviously played a role in Chelsea winning the Champions League. Gave the assist to Kai Havertz. Um, won many titles with Chelsea. Conor Gallagher, he's probably he's been at Chelsea during um, our lowest point during the 22-23 and the 23-24 seasons. Um, it's not helped his case in terms of, okay, he's won trophies, so his value is going to rise. But in my opinion, he has been one of the better players in this Chelsea side, especially under Pochettino, who uh, wants players to, like Conor Gallagher who are ready to, you know, have that second, third wind during games, chase the ball, constant press, uh, get stuck in. Uh, but it does look like Chelsea will be looking to sell him. We're going to want to sell players early. Uh, we have the Euros coming up. I'm sure he wants to know that his future is secure before the Euros comes up, just so that isn't playing on his mind. Um, £50 million for Conor Gallagher. Yes or no? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Maybe we could use that money towards Xavi Simmons. Again, Xavi Simmons, I think, is a lot more of an offensive player in terms of what he brings. I mean, we see his assist this season for uh, RB Leipzig. It's through the roof. He is scoring goals for fun as well. Incredible young talent. I do quite like Xavi Simmons. I did mention we have an update regarding centre-backs and this is it here. This is coming in from Court Offside. Chelsea have now established contact with Ronald Araujo's intermediaries as they aim to beat Man United to his signature as they eye Silva's replacement. Of course, Thiago Silva um, announced today through Chelsea that he will be leaving in a very heartfelt uh, statement um, it really shows just how much he, just how much sorry he connected with his club uh, how much he felt the love uh, how much he was willing to give again he said he only thought he'd be here for a year ended up being four years and then in that time Champions League uh, Super Cups in fa fantastic player for the club he will go down as a Chelsea legend in terms of how he binded this team together uh, he is doing his pro license uh, so and he said that he wants to return to Chelsea one day, maybe not as a player, but in a coaching role, maybe a manager, maybe assistant manager, maybe like a defensive coach uh, alongside, you know, I, I would like John Terry in that role, but if he comes back as a defensive coach, I would certainly not be against it. He's a fantastic player. Um, he is a Brazilian legend, so maybe that would help us uh, convince a few Brazilian uh, youngsters that, hey, come work under Thiago Silva, one of the greatest uh, Brazilian players to ever play the game.
But thank you so much, Chug Silver. And let me know your thoughts on a Ronald Araujo. I'm a big fan. Now, before I finish up the video, I do have this regarding Benjamin Sheshko. Of course, heavily linked to Chelsea in recent weeks. Uh, apparently, we have been scouting him loads uh, in recent uh, in recent years. But Chelsea are in for Benjamin Sheshko this summer. I always especially mention one club, Chelsea, who remain keen on Benjamin Sheshko. They still have to decide how much they want to invest on the striker. Chelsea have been tracking him for two years and RB Leipzig expects something to happen this summer regarding Benjamin Sheshko's future. And then we have this. Chelsea remain keen on Benjamin Sheshko. They are still deciding how much they want to invest in a striker and have been tracking him in the last few years. Of course, Chelsea are in for uh, Ch uh, Victor Osman as well. It's just it, it's going to come down to are we willing to spend that much on a striker? 110, 120 million pounds. Or do we want to go for the cheaper option? 42, 43 million pounds for Benjamin Sheshko. Let me know your thoughts on that. Benjamin Sheshko or Victor Osman, who would be your pick? Honestly, if you got Sheshko, I would be elated, but... I think that we do need that world-class striker who is going to be the face of Chelsea going forward in terms of our... I think we do need that next drug bird. Jackson, he's showing signs, but he's just a bit too inconsistent in front of goal. I, I really like Sheshko. I really like Oswin. I think we can't lose in this situation, but out of those two, let me know your thoughts on that. As always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I've been The Quick Take, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.